Hello, I'm Jayan Zhang, Corporate Vice President at Samsung, responsible for smart things and our IoT strategy. It's great to be here again with our incredible community of developers and partners. The world is very different today than it was when we last met in 2019. The forces that have impacted all of us since then have caused us to think deeply about what connection really means. Their smart home has played a vital role in helping us all stay connected and safe and has an even greater role in how we connect with family, work, and friends. Connections that ignite experiences are what drive us every day here at SmartThings. With that passion and an ecosystem that includes over a billion Galaxy devices, Samsung appliances, and millions of customers, and an ever-increasing number of partners and developers, SmartThings technology is powering smart homes all around the world. However, we are only just getting started. You know that SmartThings powerful ecosystem offers both developers and consumers more choices than any other platform in the world. We are committed to the continuous investment of technologies that will make it easier for our global development network to build the next generation of smart home experiences. That is why we have been at the forefront of the creation of the Matter Standard Protocol. Matter addresses a fundamental challenge for smart homes and solves the problem of fragmented industry by offering open and safe interoperability for all. We are proud to have lead the standardization since the beginning, alongside other industry leaders in an effort to bring the Matter protocol to life. Matter allows developers like you and me to worry less about platform integration and instead opens a door to new worlds of innovation. We believe that Matter will become the de facto standard in every home. The depth of the Samsung portfolio and the power of the SmartThings ecosystem puts us in a unique position to make the promise of matter a reality. That is why today we are thrilled to announce our plans to adopt matter as a controller for Samsung's global portfolio of products, including Galaxy devices, televisions, and appliances. SmartThings will also fully integrate matter in early 2022 while continuing to support existing protocols, including ZigBee and Z-Wave. Moving forward, we are also working to integrate thread solutions into the SmartThings platform. I'm very pleased to welcome a wonderful panel of guests to discuss the much talked about Matter protocol. Matter's goal is to be simple, interoperable, reliable, secure, and now with Matter, Smart home devices will be easier for consumers to purchase and use. You won't need to look for those matching brands. You'll look for Matter. And this will improve the retail experience. Fewer duplicative products on the shelves, less retail complexity, and hopefully fewer returns. It should make the problem of development simpler. Uh, and the Matter developer assets, like an open source software development toolkit, test tools, strong certification program, should speed the development process and ease some of the challenges that Nathan mentioned in terms of development. Uh, Matter should allow for consistent, reliable, local connectivity, and from a design perspective, it's secure by design. So every device joining is authenticated, every message is protected. Every day, consumers are trying to, are stuck and they're trying to sort out compatibility and setup and interoperability. And on the development side, sometimes the manufacturers are stuck. We can now focus a lot more on innovation than worrying about having to have 14 different integrations. In today's world, right now, as an example, our locks use radio modules um, for all these different ecosystems. Um, we use plug-in modules to help manage our SKU count, but I still have over 14 different radios I ship every day right now. And imagine now how happy operations will be at all manufacturers and cost reductions, etc. Volume increases um, by only having one or two. Uh, today we heard from Vice President Jayong Zhang that Samsung will adopt uh, Matter as a controller across multiple services. Um, 
How do you feel that this could move the needle for our industry? Yeah, absolutely. We, we find this, this news like, absolutely exciting. Uh, it's one of those things where we, we definitely want to reach users where they're at. And so the ability to have controllers so deeply embedded in so many products, um, we think is going to deliver a great benefit. Well, we're definitely aligned with Samsung in that we are ready to promote matter across uh, not only existing markets, but emerging markets. And we truly believe that Matter will become a global standard, and we're really excited to be aligned with uh, Samsung on this journey. Being a part of the Matter, you know, previously chip since 2019, and seeing the big names, and and now seeing all of the big cards fall, you know, it's 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 vindication that this is something that's real, that's something exciting, and it's something that's going to, you know, break open smart home for for everybody. And Nathan, we know that recently you announced Thread support in several of your lighting solutions. Um, what's your vision for Matter and Thread in the smart home? So with our vision, you know, we've got our border routers, uh, which are built into our latest elements and shapes products. Uh, those border routers help support the thread mesh. They, they provide connectivity for all of the lower power devices. Everything needs to be motion sensor driven um, in an intelligent way. Uh, so hooking up those motion sensors to the lights, you know, with thread, you can do that. One of the most exciting features of Matter is the idea of multi-admin. Uh, can you talk a little bit more about this, explain what it is, and really in layman's terms, for our developer network that is just getting on board with Matter, how is multi-admin uh, different from the current state of the smart home, and what's your perspective on it? Once you start buying into the smart home promise and you you, you, click, you, you start uh, getting devices from multiple different manufacturers and device makers and such, Adding new systems and experiences is pretty painful. You end up going through multiple different setup, linking flows, and by the time you're done, uh, even adding new successive systems is pretty challenging. And something that we have to keep in mind is that there's many different types of users in a home, right? Some, some users might have certain platform preferences and certain personal choices of what they actually want. So to really address this key pain point, the group developed this multi-admin feature, which makes it really easy to pick and choose devices that, um, that, that, it, that a user already has uh, connected into their Matter network and then add new systems on top of it. And so again, based on that user consent, it's really easy to say, I, I'm, you know, I have a home with maybe three or four light bulbs and a, a lock adding those into the new system itself. I mean, consumers want choice, right? Nobody wants their options to be limited based on, you know, what mobile phone or voice assistant that they use in their homes. Um, imagine going and buying a new house and then realizing that you have to replace all the appliances and light switches because they don't work with uh, the ecosystem that you want to use, right? Um, so, you know, matter support for multi-admin or multiple administrators it paves the way for different ecosystems and services to coexist with each other and work together over that single unified network that um, Kevin talked about a little bit ago. And at SmartThings, we're committed to make this as seamless as possible for our users, and, and we look forward to working uh, you know, with the other companies on this panel and in, in the working group to make this a reality and deliver on that promise. Thank you for joining us, and I look forward to sharing more with you about Matter in the coming days. Thank you. As you can see, we are pretty excited about helping consumers adapt and grow their smart home experiences. SmartThings Find is a consumer-driven network of Galaxy phones, earbuds, and tablets that help consumers locate their belongings from just about anywhere. The network has quickly grown with nearly 100 million nodes since its launch. And recently, we expanded on that offering with the launch of Galaxy Smart Tag and Smart Tag Plus. Almost a million consumers have attached their smart tags to their keychains, backpacks, and even pets. Smart tags also include a button that allows consumers to control their smart home devices. Now developers and partners are able to embed the SmartThings Find technology using the SmartThings Find device SDK, allowing you to put the power of the Galaxy Find network into your products. As we have been focused on providing seamless connected experiences, we have also been focused on enhancing the SmartThings platform. In August, we announced SmartThings Edge, a new hub architecture that allows core functionality to execute locally, leading to smart home experiences that are more reliable, faster, and more secure. This new approach not only streamlines events and commands, but also provides local automation support, allowing users to run their own automations even when the internet goes down. We designed this new architecture with you in mind. Local execution of devices and automations 
has several advantages, including an improved device permissions model and the ability to deploy updates to your drivers, allowing you to more easily share and scale your innovations. This year, we have also taken leaps in our technology that helps make automations even easier. One way we did this was to continue deepening our integration with Samsung devices and the Galaxy ecosystem. Consumers can now control devices through seamless integrations with Galaxy Clock, Calendar, and SmartView apps. We also revamped our app interface and launched a Windows app desktop experience this summer. Within the SmartThings platform itself, we have made a number of enhancements that will help developers and consumers alike. For example, our Rules API is an industry-leading automation platform with limitless possibilities. Automations created by the Rules API can now run locally on hubs, increasing reliability and shortening response times. The events of the past 18 months have also created a shift in the way we view our energy usage at home. Recently, we launched SmartThings Energy, a service that represents our commitment to a more sustainable future. SmartThings Energy empowers consumers to monitor their energy consumption, set energy targets, and receive notifications about their smart homes. Today, we are pleased to announce that we are extending this service feature to work with SmartThings partners so that consumers can monitor the energy usage from traditional energy sources like electricity and gas, as well as clean energy such as solar throughout their homes. We are also integrating with energy aggregators and utility companies to unlock advanced capabilities that will allow consumers to switch to more cost-effective or cleaner energy suppliers and to participate in demand response events. We get very excited when thinking about how developers can use our services like SmartThings Energy and SmartThings Find to build with ease by utilizing home automations that are simplified and future-proof. Now, imagine that connectivity at scale. That's where SmartThings Build, our home developer and builder channel solution, is at its best. With the market share of Samsung products, we are able to offer builders an integrated, scalable, connected living solution. It combines the Samsung product portfolio, SmartThings connectivity, and works with SmartThings devices to provide a unified control and automation experience. That's why partners across the builder industry are working with us to bring a connected living experience to life for their residents. Let's hear about SmartThings built from our technology partner, Entrada. Hi, SDC. We are thrilled to be here with Samsung SmartThings and talk about our partnership. We have been working with Samsung SmartThings and it has been fantastic. The partnership has really allowed us to focus on experience. Our entire philosophy of our platform is about connection. We wanted to make sure that this flowed seamlessly from prospect to resident to maintenance man to property manager. And each one of those experiences is really different. What I expect out of a smart system being a prospect versus the maintenance guy coming in and fixing the sink is radically different. But working with Samsung Smart Things, we've been able to provide those different experiences. So not only can the resident control their washer, start the washer and dryer remotely, be able to access their community, the maintenance individual can also see the diagnostics. The appliance can even create a work order that integrates seamlessly into the management system to indicate the property needs to take action on that appliance. The residents don't even have to think about it. It happens in the background without them even knowing, providing an amazing customer experience that the maintenance staff is there helping with an appliance they didn't even know they had a problem with. A net zero home is no longer a future term. Utopia, our developer partner in the UK, connects technology, energy, and construction to build socially impactful, low-carbon communities. Let's welcome the CEO of Project Utopia to share with us how Samsung helps create sustainable housing. Thanks, Jayon. 
My name is Joseph Daniels, CEO and founder of Project Utopia. Now, Project Utopia combine energy, construction, and intelligent technologies to build the smart homes and the smart cities of the future. Now, what that means is that we're able to change the way we live by changing the way we build. We don't really understand how our homes work. We're turning the heating on and we're turning our lights on, but we understand how that impacts the planet. Our ability to work with smart things allows us to understand those different moving parts and how that can have a negative impact on our planet, whether it's a leaky house and the doors open, or whether it's you've got maybe a heating crank too high and you don't really need it. The Smart Things platform and Utopia are allowing you to understand how your energy works. This is what the Smart Things, Utopia and Samsung relationship can do for you. Make things more simple, more smart, but also more sustainable. We invite you to find more about these innovations in our Tech Talk sessions. Make sure to tune in to see how the solutions all work and to learn more about what's next. In closing, I look forward to continuing to work together so that we can achieve our vision of building meaningful, connected smart home experiences. By innovating and inventing together, we'll create the future of smart homes. And that future starts now. Thank you.